Hello, Oracles. Well, with all of the FUD and noise that's going on around Tesla lately, let's discuss some bullish signs that we have for Tesla for the future. Because remember, when you're going through pain and you focus on that pain, you really feel it that much harder and it feels like it's dragging on and dragging on. When you get to a bullish time when things are happy, those happy times seem to fleet away quickly. So let's remember that we do have happy times ahead of us. You know, obviously nothing is guaranteed, but you know, a lot of us see the future as being very bright for Tesla and I am one of them. So let's focus on that and focus on some of the bullish signs that we see for the future for Tesla. Well, one of the bullish signs that I had seen yesterday, if you ever wanted one as far as, man, is it time to buy Tesla? Thank you, Claudio, for pointing out that Ryan Powell over on Twitter had posted that since April 1st, April Fool's Day, Tesla is down $420.69. If there ever was a sign to buy, that's one. Can we fall further? Absolutely. You know, there's no guarantees as to where we go from here, but you know, I like to look at little signs and symbols as just a point to me is like, am I going in the right direction? Are we moving to where we need to be? To me, this is a huge sign of, yes, we are moving in the right direction. Now you gotta remember, sometimes the right direction is backwards. Sometimes you have to take a step or two backwards before you can move ahead even further. That's just where we're at right now. And you have to remember that the majority of the market, the entire stock market is falling down. We just hit a bear market officially in the S&P. So it's not like the stock price pulling back for Tesla is all Tesla related. Sure, you can say things that Elon says on Twitter and all this and that are causing it, whatever. Maybe it's magnifying it a little bit because people are getting their emotions involved and they're taking their focus away from the fundamentals of the company. But realistically, this too shall pass. It passed in 2018. It passed in 2010 when Tesla was struggling as well. It's going to pass. So I'm not too concerned about that. Let's look at some other bullish signs that we have for Tesla. Next on the list is Indonesia. We have unofficial reports from an official over in Indonesia stating that Tesla and Indonesia are on the path to opening up a battery and electric vehicle factory over there. So uh, we knew that the battery factory was something that was most likely going to happen. Indonesia has the largest nickel reserve on the planet, so that's huge for them. And Tesla has stated in the past that you know putting up manufacturing facilities around their suppliers is great for logistics. So let's see if this is going to happen. And you know it, when Tesla had uh, Indonesian officials come to Giga Texas, had a great conversation. Just Elon's mannerisms and body language are just very much excited to be involved in the country. So I have a feeling, and this is just an assumption and a feeling on my end, I have a feeling we are going to get an official announcement from Tesla by the end of the year that they are going to be putting up an electric vehicle factory, not just a battery factory, over in Indonesia, which would be huge. And this is something we had talked about previously about the fact that Indonesia is one of the countries that drives on the other side of the road. For efficiency purposes, if Tesla had a factory dedicated to building vehicles that have uh, steering wheels on the opposite side, that would be huge because they can supply Indonesia, Australia, UK, Japan, many other countries that are out there right from that factory all by itself. Another bullish sign is we just saw pictures on Twitter of the 9,000 ton gigapress that has been completed. No official word as to when or if it is going to be in Giga Austin soon, but it is complete and that is the size of the gigapress that is needed for the Cybertruck. So we already know that Elon has mentioned that the Cybertruck is going to go into volume production next year. So to see this gigapress completed, and then seeing that we're going to get to volume production next year tells me that we are on the right path to get there. So again, going back to all of the FUD and noise that we're hearing now, dig through that. Dig through it and find out what is going on for the company. Yes, the Cybertruck is coming. And by the way, the Cybertruck has at least three years of a backlog of production that they need to fill up for all the demand that is out there for it. I'm one of them. I think I'm like 1.5 million on the list to get my Cybertruck. So who knows when I'm going to get mine, maybe 2025. But either way, 
they have a massive backlog for the Cybertruck. And now you think about the Cybertruck, it is most likely going to be a higher margin vehicle similar to the S and the X. So if we have that coming out around the same time that we've got the RoboTaxi coming out, which will be extremely high margin, and a compact car coming out, which will definitely be lower margin, that will offset the margins between the Cybertruck RoboTaxi and the compact car, which will be great to keep margins moving forward even higher. Next on the bull list of signs that we have coming out, we've got AI Day 2 coming on August 19th. This is another recruiting event. This is usually what Tesla uses them for, is to recruit more talent, which, I mean, you think about it, SpaceX and Tesla are the number one and number two companies that young engineers want to go work for. So this is just them going out there and, I mean, if you want to advertise at all or say that Tesla is going to advertise, this is basically it. This AI Day 2 is going to be their way of advertising their company to be able to entice engineers to come and work for them. Now, the great thing about AI Day 2 is earlier this year, uh, Elon had stated that they do plan on having a prototype for Optimus by the end of this year. And he did announce that at this uh, AI Day 2, they are going to have this Optimus prototype. So what its capabilities are going to be and all different things, we don't know. We'll find out at AI Day 2. But you got to think about it. Elon has said that that is going to be the future. AI, Tesla is going to be known more as an AI company in the future than they are going to be an EV company. So if they are being able to put Optimus out there in a prototype fashion by August, this gives us a great sign for the future. We also saw an awesome update to the FSD beta program, and you really see how quickly we are moving. Technology advances very rapidly. AI is a little bit of a different beast, so there's a lot of different things that you need to get through, but the more talent Tesla can bring in, the faster they can move through this. The more data they get that comes in from the beta program, the faster they can move through this. So the growth of AI intelligence is growing on a, an exponential scale. So we are going to get there. And eventually, by the end of this year, Elon says that they will have most of it solved. So just thinking about the fact that we've got Optimus prototype coming out now, we've got dedicated robo-taxis coming out in volume production in 2024, tells me that they are confident they are going to be solving AI in the next year and a half to two years. So with that being said, now we take a look at Optimus. All right, great. So we're going to have Optimus being functional of some sort in the next, you know, maybe two to three years. And then we can grow from that because think about how quickly uh, Tesla is learning from the FSD beta program in order to build that up. Now they can get Optimus into their factories to be able to get all the data from them as well on a more humanoid type basis when it comes to data and be able to move that forward just as quickly. Huge, huge implications for the future when it comes to this and artificial general intelligence. You know, looking at Kathy Wood and over at ARC saying that the artificial gener general intelligence um, whole aspect of the world right now, as that grows, it's going to bump up GDP 30 to 50 percent. That's enormous. And if Tesla can get a piece of that, think about the revenues that are going to come in. I mean, that's going to be huge and a lot of it's going to be high margin. And not only is it going to be high margin for whatever they're going to sell out of this, think about how it's going to make their factories more efficient by using Optimus labor. This way they can cut down labor costs significantly and then the margins on their vehicles will go up as well because their uh, expenses are going to come down. All of this huge for the future, yes. Granted, none of this is guaranteed. None of this is actual reality right now, but this is what the future is looking like. I am a believer that this is where we are going to be going in the future. We have too many other players out there that are moving in this direction for me to say that it's a Tesla only thing and they're, you know, possibly going to fail. And if they don't succeed, then it's never going to happen. It's very similar to EVs and EV adoption. Tesla was taking those steps to move in that direction. And now we're at the point where everyone else is moving in that direction, including governments, which are putting regulations for the future on ICE vehicles, saying that they won't be allowed to be produced. I foresee the same thing happening in the future, 
maybe not with regulations when it comes to the governments, but I see in the future that we are going to be moving in the artificial general intelligence move in the, that direction, and we are going to have a lot of other players that are going to come along that are going to follow on those curtails and try to follow Tesla's lead. And then we're going to keep on moving in that direction, and artificial general intelligence will be the future. And now when it comes to long-term investing and dollar cost averaging, to go along with all of these bullish signs, look at Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett has been in the market for a very long time and obviously a very wealthy man. Now he goes more into value plays, but the same really holds true for growth stocks because a lot of times growth stocks, as they grow, eventually become value plays. So what it comes down to is holding it long-term. So let's say you have a stock that you bought for $10 a share and you bought 10 shares. You invested $100 into that stock. Now stocks, until they change their number of outstanding shares, will usually swing you know, on a good day 2 to 3% during a normal market, not like the craziness we're in right now. So it'll move 2 to 3% up or down. So if your investment of $10 at the $10 share price goes up 2%, you've made yourself $2. Cool, $2 is great. Now, if you hold that stock long enough and now it grows to be a $100 stock, now you still have only invested $100 into that stock, but now the shares are each worth $100. So if it goes up $2, you now make $20 and it swings more. Now push it up to $1,000. You've now held this stock long enough for it to be $1,000 per share. Now, if it goes up 2%, you're now up $200 on your initial $100 investment of those, of those 10 shares. So you gotta just think about when you're holding it long-term. So for a lot of you out there who have been holding for long-term, and we see that the stock has tumbled as far as it has, and your portfolio has come down this far, it can grow up that much further and that much faster, which is why they say, fortunes are born during bear markets because the more you invest when a stock price is suppressed, the more it's going to grow for you in the future. And the more it grows and the longer you hold it, the more those percentage gains that are average for that stock will reflect in your portfolio even more. And so when your dollar cost averaging along with this, you're always getting the best average price all along the way. And that's just going to mean that in the future, you'll have more shares, which is why right now, during this bear market, accumulating shares is the most important thing you can do because when we get to those higher dollar amounts in the future, those shares that you purchase now are going to be that much more valuable when we get to that point five and 10 years down the road. And now there's a lot more other bullish signs that are out there that we have coming. We've got the S&P uh, upgrade into the uh, investor grade rating that we should be seeing probably later this year or early next year. Uh, maybe an inclusion into the Dow. We've got a split coming up, which doesn't change valuation, but it's very bullish for a company to do this. And we also have the semi coming out next year. We've got energy that's growing. We've got insurance that's growing. So many awesome fundamental pieces of the company moving forward. So let me know in the comments below, what other bullish signs do you guys see that are out there for Tesla? Because going through these times of pain are tough. And the most important thing I can tell you is, I remember this from all of my races, focus on the finish line and what your goal is. What is your goal for investing and for holding this stock? And if your goal is a long-term investment where maybe you can retire early or you can pass along generational wealth, just keep reminding yourself of what your focus is in the future and why you're doing this. And then just take one foot in front of the other and take the steps that you need to take to get yourself to that point. And just remind yourself of the fundamentals of the companies that you are investing in. And when it comes to Tesla, there's a lot of bullish signs for the future. You just gotta fight through the noise right now. So let me know in the comments what other bullish signs you guys see. Uh, and we can share them with everyone else because these can be very difficult times to fight through. And having a little bit of positivity and reminder of what we're all in this for could help everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. I am over on Twitter at OracleTim1. I share all the latest Tesla news, pertinent stock market information, and all of my daily trades. Thank you so much. Have a great one.